Okay, so what did the private investigator say about my brother's cases? Apparently, uh, Julian is pulling out all the stops. He's hired some of the biggest guns in the country to make sure that your brothers are found guilty. But they're not guilty, Ethan. Luis would not commit rape, and my little brother, he would not try to run over somebody. Look, you know that, even Fox. I know this. You know this. But Julian's playing hardball. We got our work cut out for us. We're gonna need to rely on every ounce of crane power, resources, finances, Teresa, anything we can That's muster. Fine. Whatever, whatever you need, okay? I can give you a blank check for expenses, and you know there's more where that came from. That'll help, it will, but we need more than money. You're gonna need to call in some favors. I'm talking about the governor, the mayor, senators, I mean, anyone else we can think of. Come in. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, we, we, we were just, you know, talking about my brothers. Anything we can do to help? I appreciate that. Why exactly haven't you told Ethan yet? Oh, I think this isn't good. I mean, it's like, you know, Ethan's phone was ringing, and, and it was the private investigator, and he had to take it. Well, but, you know, this is crazy. You should have told him by now. I guess I don't have to tell you that Jared's still here. No, I know Jared's here. He came and he, he saw me. Okay, well then stop stalling. Tell Ethan the truth so that everybody knows where they stand. It, you know, it kind of threw me when he said that he'd fight to, to get me back. Don't do this. You know, don't start flip-flopping on me, okay? We talked about this, and you said this is what you no, wanted. No, this is what I want. No, this is what I want, okay? Yeah, yes, I love Jared, but, you know, he's not my destiny. Ethan is, and I want to tell him that little Ethan is our son as much as you want me to. Okay. Well, then now's your chance. He's off the phone. Tell Ethan right now. Okay. I will. Okay. Are you really sure that Ethan's going to be happy when I tell him the truth that little Ethan is our son, right? Are you kidding me? Come on, Ethan loves you. He's mad about little Ethan, and to tell you the truth, as far as I can see, he seems to be doing just fine without Glenn. He's gonna be thrilled, honey. Oh, I... Mm -hmm. What about the fact that I've been lying to him all this time? Well, yeah, yeah, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a little upset, but I, I, I think that's gonna fade once he realizes that you were afraid. Just tell him the truth. You were afraid that Gwen was going to talk him into taking little Ethan away from you the same way they did Jane. Yeah, I know that was. It, it, it's just that, you know, Jared, he, he's a sure thing. Ethan isn't. Yeah, but Ethan's your dream, honey. This is a chance for you to make your dream come true. Don't throw away that opportunity right when you're so close to making it happen. Okay, you're right. Not sure why I'm so afraid. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Um, so, um, the thing that I, I wanted to discuss with you. Yeah, the, the thing you said you should have told me a long time ago. I should have I told you a long time ago, but, you know, I had my reasons not to tell you, but, you know, those reasons are gone now. You think we should get out of here? Give him some privacy? No, 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 no. I, I want to stick around and make sure she actually goes through with this, okay? It's okay. Go ahead, tell me. Okay. Ethan, it's about us. It's about little. <clears throat> Please don't answer it. It's the P.I. again. Yeah, yeah. You should get it, you know? Because m maybe he has a way to clear my brother's names. Right. Yeah. 